Hello and welcome. I am the Suit and Tie Dip and Chew Guy, and this is an entry onto the meats playlist. It is a beef jerky. It is something I have never had. It is the GOAT original. Now, this company, probably not wanting to bring God's name into it, is going by the greatest of all time. GOAT being the acronym. In my memory knowledge, usually GOAT stands for God of all things, but I could see why a company wouldn't want to do that. So, you are looking at a 2.5 net weight ounce bag. The bag was sourced from jerkygents.com as a one-time order, part of a one-time order. All right. So, serving size is one ounce, all right? 2.5 servings per container, or in my world, one serving. The bag is a serving, but as far as nutritional information goes, it is one ounce. And nutritional information is right there. So calories are 60 from fat are 10. Total fat is one gram, which is 2% of your daily. Cholesterol is 30 milligrams, 10% of your daily. Sodium, 240 milligrams, 10% of your daily. Total carbs are two grams, 1% of your daily. Both of those though are from sugars. Protein is 11 grams. It has 6% of your daily iron and 2% of your daily vitamin A. Couple standout things there. The sodium count, 240. That is pretty darn low. Pretty darn low compared to, let's say, a Jack Link's product. Jack Link's product, the lower ones are 380. Usually, you're looking at stuff, unless they've been bringing in the levels down in their entire product line, which is also possible because I have seen a couple that surprised me. Usually, for, when I first started doing beef jerky reviews, they were all a little bit above 400 for what is basically a one ounce serving there too. So 240 stand out and the vitamin A, 2% of vitamin A. I've never seen that. The 6% the iron is a usual. Sometimes there is a calcium count. I don't think I've ever even seen vitamin A listed. But 2% of your daily vitamin A is in this bag two and a half times. Just to let you know. So, the product is made by the Goat Beef Jerky Company of Oklahoma City. Their website is www.thegoatbeefjerkyco.com. Down here, you have a Best Buy date, which is July 29th, 2021. Not too far out. I have noticed looking through what I ordered, these small batch jerkies are not dated as far out. Unless, for some reason, Jerky Gents sent me stuff that was coming to end of date, which I sort of doubt because they hit it every time. Uh, the small batch companies don't date as far out. At first, it's like, ah, that's not as convenient. But then you think about it and go, wait a minute. How is Jack Link's dating two years out all the time? Yeah. Anyway. So they have a little story here. Uh, I'll, I'll read it for the sake of reading it. This is not their only product. You will be seeing the goat again. This is the only one within this shipment. But our beef jerky is so good, we feel confident in calling it the goat. From the freshest ingredients to the finest processes, our philosophy and commitment to creating the best beef jerky a person can eat sets us apart from our competition. Don't get us wrong. There are some very good jerkies out there, but there can only be one goat. Um, and then they reinforce that in large lettering underneath. There can only be one goat. 
And then hashtag show us your goat on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Fans at the goatbeefjerkyco.com. Ingredient contains anchovies. I'm not going to read the ingredients. I don't want to know. <laughs> okay, so the Ziploc's engaged on this, and it was right out the box, but it doesn't really matter because until you tear at one of these notches, it's a sealed it, it, it's a sealed bag. Uh, I'm going to cut this with scissors, as I did the other night with the Big League Chew, because I am saving the bag. So it does have a Ziploc. On this one, it's engaged. But as I said, wow, what the heck is going on here? As I said, it doesn't really matter until you break this top seal. What the heck? Okay, we're ripping it. <laughs> Should have just done that from the door. All right. So I've never had this before. Now, I will be mixing in walmart fam product into this meats playlist i did go out to spice things up a little bit and order from jerky gents just to add interest wow smells really good it smells ridiculously it smells strong so it is thick cut it is pretty thick cut stuff it looks natural grain it's not it's not bit formed which is basically when they get a whole bunch of small bits of beef jerky and compact them into a formed piece that they're trying to shoot for something like this however on this i am actually seeing a grain to it so that is an actual piece it feels it feels thick And dry, dryish. It's not dry, brittle like an old-fashioned beef jerky. All right, it's not like Wild Bill's, but it is on the drier side. It is not tacky at all, and it's pliable. But I think that's because of the thickness. So that's sort of interesting. So I'm going to dump this out because I don't think you can really see in there. So this bag, there is a little bit of shake. It's not bad though. They, I, they have a good medium size on everything, although the last piece does not want to come out for whatever reason. There we go. Here is the packet that you are not, repeat, not going to eat. The thing that looks different from everything else in the bag, you are not going to eat. So I'm going to place that back into the bag to lick later <laughs> anyway so this is what you're looking at all right and it, it smells really good and i'm liking the fact that it looks like a natural cut green but unlike wild bills it is quite a bit thicker that is fairly thick that's like Jack Link's thickness without the tackiness when like rubbery aspects. So it's a bit of a tough chew. It's really good. It's really good. Second thing besides beef on the ingredients is soy sauce. That is evident. It comes through, especially having read it, but it comes through to a point where I think even if I hadn't read it, I'd be like, oh, this tastes like soy sauce. Now, there are smaller bets in this. And then larger bets. And then... A bunch of stuff sort of in the middle. It is very 
soy sauce-ish. I like soy sauce. It doesn't have the salty aspect of soy sauce. But for some reason, if you cannot stand soy sauce, this is probably not for you because it is very evident. There is no guessing going with soy sauce. Uh, now, mind you, this is their original. They're not. It's not being billed like a soy sauce version like Jack Link's has teriyaki. This is a, It's not being billed as soy sauce, but it is the number two ingredient on the ingredients list, and it is evident. It's a tough chew. It's drier, but it has the effect. It's good, number one, but it almost is like there's something else going on there. Saliva starts going. So even though it's a fairly dry product, it's not dry for long. Now, I don't know where you'd find that. I'm sure that there is somewhere. I mean, it's a hanger pack, so it's made for retail somewhere. Where that is, I do not know. Maybe in Oklahoma City and, you know, surrounding counties. I have no idea. If you know or have seen it in a store, retail store, drop a line in the comments, I suppose. I would be interested to know. Um, as I said, I sourced this through Jerky Gents. I have no affiliation with Jerky Gents. They have a lot of stuff that you're not going to see normally. A lot of it, not because of Jerky Gents so much, just because it's a small batch, is upper price. I think I got this stuff on sale. It was on sale there. But even if it was, I may be confusing it with one of the others, it was still like $7 for the bag. All right. To try for review material, for my own personal experience, I think it's worth it. It's 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 really good. Um, it's really good. It's got a papery rip, even though it's really thick. I think there's some ginger going on there too. It's got a real oriental feel, even though it's not being billed as such. But I don't think you're going to be able to find something cut this thick. I mean, some of the other stuff that I got in this order may very turn out to be something along the line, so I don't know. None of this stuff I've had before. But in your regular travels, I don't think you're going to be able to find something cut this thick that's actually a real cut and this dry. But, as I said, I don't know if that even picked up. It's a real papery rip. Now, as far as jerky gents goes, be careful there if you go. I, I, You know what? Go there at least to check out what's available. Because they got a ton of stuff. Um, it is, it's, it's bread and butter though, that site is subscription services. So if you did order something, make sure you're only ordering it once. Unless, of course, you want a subscription service. This stuff is really good. Very out of the norm. Really good, though. Um, in fact, I, I, may, I may pay for it again. I, and I'm not one to usually do that like expend money when I can substitute with a sweet baby raise or something like that. You know, not with beef jerky. I'm just not, I'm not a connoisseur of beef jerky, but this is, I think this is actually worth the price. And normally I do not say stuff like that about products like this. Um, it's just, it's quality stuff. I had actually heard about this before online. People talking about it somewhere. It's it, it's not bit formed. It's really dry, but it juices up in the mouth. And it's thick. Now, I mean, that's pretty thick. So, where's the bag at? 
I will definitely in a future order be getting more from this brand. As I said again, I got a jerky gents. It it's it's pricey. By my standards, it's pricey. Um but if you're willing to spend the money, it, it, it's not money wasted in my my opinion. Um I don't feel bad. Normally if I spent like 70 bucks for a bag of beef jerky, I'd be like, dude, why did I do that? Why did I do this, this was worth it. I, I I'm okay with this. The goat, their claim 